God, I look so ugly right now. Hello guys, it's Carly here, bringing you another video that I almost gave up on. You might be wondering why I'm recording from the top of my bedroom closet. Well, like my schoolwork, that's not important right now. Anyways, I hope you liked the video that I worked hard on. I hope it grows my channel, and if it doesn't, that's okay. You can't have total drama without the drama. And drama is a word used to describe some relationships. While not all the relationships in the show were good, in this video we're going to be going over the ones that are. But just in case you're wondering when the top 10 worst total drama relationships are coming, like they say in a trailer, it's coming soon. But today we're not here to go over that, we're here to go over the good ones. Here's the top 10 best total drama couples. Well, you want me to First off, no pairings like Dwayne and Carrie and MacArthur and Brody. The reason behind this is the relationship is considered illegal, so it would be like an adult dating a child. With Brody, it's a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna win us this race by flexing my ass muscles and flirting with Brody. Yeah, how old is Brody anyway? Brody is 17 while MacArthur is 19. It's not illegal in most states, but it's still an adult dating a child. Number two, don't disrespect my opinion if I put a couple that you don't like on here, or I didn't put a couple that you like on here. You wouldn't want anyone to disrespect your opinion, so don't be doing it to someone else. And yes, if you do have a different opinion, then I totally respect it. Like, I personally don't like Duncan and Courtney, but I know a lot of people that do. And if you like it, then that's great. So, don't disrespect my opinion, because I'm not going to do it to you. Well, you want me to worry. You want to go for a walk? Have to say no. Have to say no. Okay! Yeah! Good ending! Izzy loves scary movies! So does Owen. <sighs> Phew, looks like the real treasure is right here beside me. <laughs> wink, wink. You okay? Yeah. Just remind me never to get between Owen and a brownie again. Well, you want me to is super smart and totally strong, so she lived to tell the tale. This is probably the only good thing about All Stars. Gwen and Courtney starting to date. And I don't care if the wiki lists these two as enemies! Hold on, let me fix that. Much, much better. Thanks, Gwen. I almost got my hair wet. <gasps> I would never let that happen. Your hair is fantastic. No, your hair is. What's your secret? I double condition. Well, you want me to Laura is exceptionally purplish green. Oh, it suits you though. This segment will be short because I couldn't find that many clips. This is the absolute most underrated ship on the show. I have no idea how more people don't talk about this. <laughs> I feel like they'd be a really cute couple. These two had like so much potential. They would have gotten together if it weren't for Scott. By the way, I HATE SCOTT! Okay, in my rules 
I forgot to mention that, yes, the spin-off, The Redonkulous Race, is allowed on this list. There were a lot of ships I could choose from, but that took a lot of planning. But eventually, I got to these choices. Do I choose Carrie and Devin? No, no. I saw that couple coming from a mile away. If you ever get a boyfriend, Carrie is the girl best friend you gotta worry about. Do I choose Tom and Jen? No, because they're actually best friends, unlike Carrie and Devin. They should have been called, you know, Carrie and Devin should have been called platonic relationship. And if you think that's a bit excessive, Trent and Duncan on the do-over were called Gwen's exes. You're my hero! You're everyone's hero! <coughs> but Carly, when are we gonna get to the real couples? You know, the ones that were actually confirmed. We're gonna get to those eventually. I know these two aren't a confirmed couple, but I really don't care. It's really, really cute. These two are more of a couple than Carrie and Devin and Stephanie and Ryan combined. I don't know why they can't just say, oh yeah, these two are in love, because it sure as hell felt like it! Like Beverly and Dawn, I want this to be confirmed so bad, but I know the writers are not gonna do that. They had so much chemistry, so make them fall in love! Well, you want me to For this entry, I wanted to pick a couple from the new reboot, but I had absolutely no idea who to choose, until I got the wonderful idea. Ripper, hands up! Anything for you, my doomsday prepping Picasso. No, no, not that one. No, no, I do not mean that one. I mean a good couple from the reboot. You know what? This island isn't so bad. <laughs> This choice may be a bit controversial. Priya, Caleb doesn't like you. He's just pretending so you'll help him win. If you don't like this pairing, then it's totally your opinion. On one of my videos, the people in the comments were saying this couple is more toxic than the shit Plankton serves to his customers. But, oh, well, we're gonna ignore that because they're cute nonetheless, okay? They're cute! I feel like what made them made them cuter is that Wattpad ass height difference. I went on a heart- a free height comparison website because I'm cheaper than Mr. Krabs and this is genuinely their height difference. Priya's right on the line at five feet, okay? She has a short stature. I can't be complaining though, I'm under five feet. It's hard relating to this line from Skilos, I wish. I wish I was a little bit taller. But enough about my crippling insecurities about my height. These two are actually really cute. Should I want a relationship like this? It might be hard to get a healthy relationship like theirs nowadays, but who cares? Overall, this pairing is really sweet. And I want a boyfriend like Caleb. No, not one that'll use me to keep getting to, like, the finals, but you know what I mean. Well, you want me to are lucky you've got such a healthy well-balanced relationship i would be off my rocker to not put these two on the list but one of the things that frustrated me the most was that episode where they tried to hug after bridge came back to the show and they kept getting interrupted now can i have that hug um excuse me for interrupting but where's my prize shut up bitch shut the fuck up I'm sorry, I just don't like her. I HATE HER! But anyways, enough about my hatred for her. These two are genuinely really cute. And it's even better that they're confirmed to be married. Yeah, sure, they did have a few moments where they were toxic. <coughs> Aftermath. But overall, they're healthy and they're adorable. So I just had to put them on the list. And I still hate Courtney. I freaking hate Courtney! I freaking hate her! 
Anyways, what do we have for number five? Well, you want me to The money was getting in the way of our happiness. Once we were eliminated, we could finally be together. It's cute. It's really cute. But it's not that healthy. But you don't need a healthy relationship to be put on this list. I put Priya and Caleb on here. What's the difference? But a lot of people like this pairing. It's one of the most popular pairings in the fandom. So this is probably the one I'll get the least amount of controversy on. If you don't like this couple, I respect your opinion. But I'm just saying, a lot of people like it, so I'm probably not going to get that much hate for it. But enough about that. This is how you do enemies to lovers right. Make them super cute and not entirely toxic. Like Duck and Courtney! Well, you want me to It's sad when love turns to poison. That's nice. This is considered the healthiest pairing in Total Drama. And it is. Wicked Binge was right! But seriously, this is my favorite pairing in the Redonkulous race. But like, I don't know why Dawn hated them. Like, Dawn, what did they do to you?! And despite not being all touchy-feely with each other, they're still really cute. I mean, I've never seen them have a conflict on screen, like, but then again, I've never seen them kiss on screen. Like, remember when Ennui's bunny went missing and they risked getting eliminated just to save his bunny? That is a healthy relationship! So, Don, you need to quit hating and respect them because they have managed to keep a relationship longer than you! I did not think I had to watch this dirty water of a season again, but every day's a surprise. I got this for you. I hope we can still. <gasps> did I? You won! No, we won. If you're still okay with splitting the money, then. <clears throat> Look, I'm just saying this is the only option I had. Like, what other options do I have? Sky and Ella? No, 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 I do not think so. This pairing is absolutely healthy. And I know I said that with every couple I put on here, but I mean it this time. Even though I don't necessarily like the characters... Shit, what do you call this? <laughs> Wh what I mean is the two characters didn't save the season, but their relationship did. Jasmine's whole personality was being Australian, and half of Sean's dialogue was being afraid of zombies. I think I remember, like, a few seconds ago saying they were healthy. I think- I don't remember what happened exactly, but I think Sean made her mad. But it's still healthy, okay? We're gonna forget about all that. And I'm gonna praise this relationship for being the only good thing on the season! It's me and Raj from last season, and Bowie too! Is it me or am I getting Sting Eye from like- Hey, you picked this one because they're gay. Well, obviously! Nah, no, but for real, this is my favorite couple from the reboot. If you couldn't tell. Because this is at number two and we only have one more spot and I can guarantee you it's not from the reboot. Not only is it cute, it's healthy too. Yeah, sure, Bowie's an antagonist. But he was nice to Raj! Do you think anyone would do something like that to their boyfriend? No! Their relationship was so cute and so healthy, it's like- ah! This is one of the cutest relationships in TDI hell! IN TV! More couples need to be like this.
So I had trouble deciding what to put at number one. I actually didn't. I mean, everyone knows what the number one spot is going to be. Multiples just means there's more Mike to love. Well, obviously, Carly. Zoe's like the main character. Do I mind? No! I don't care what she is. The relationship was cute. Oh my god, it is so cute. And healthy, too. I know it's healthy because these are Mike's goals in life. They're really sweet and affectionate with each other, too. I want a boyfriend like that. Am I ever gonna get one? No! Like... Oh, I insist you go save Stacy. As Stacy is drowning! I don't even like Stacy. Yeah, my great uncle. SHUT UP! Anyways, I can name a million reasons I love this couple so much. But if I did, this segment would take up half the video. So I'll just leave it at this. It's affectionate, cute, and healthy. Everything I want in a relationship. A relationship I'll probably never have. This is my favorite couple in total drama. Ever. Well, you are